Kenyans to come forward to explain why each and every one of us must pay tax. I am right at the forefront in sensitizing Kenyans, mobilizing Kenyans to pay tax. I am essentially your unpaid worker. I don't know whether Madam CG will consider a stipend for me for doing all what I'm doing. But the question many Kenyans ask me is, how are we sure that we will all pay? Because we must all be equal. Because the people who have connection, the people who have networks, will escape paying. Then the small guys, the people who have no connection, will end up paying. Because there are people in Kerry who facilitate others not to pay. The next question Kenyans ask me is, how sure are we that our taxes will not be stolen by public officials sitting in ministries, departments, agencies, offices? So, and I intend to answer those two questions in my term. I intend to answer those two questions. And as I have said, I will take personal responsibility over the safety and the proper use of the public resources of the people of Kenya. It's the only way they can continue to legitimately pay their taxes. I do not wish to dwell at length on this matter because historically so much has been said yet so little has been done in dealing with the challenge of corruption in government. I just want to make the following commitment firmly and clearly. My office shall be responsible for ensuring effectiveness, efficiency, transparency and accountability in the use of public resources. I shall therefore be personally involved in ensuring that Kenyans get their taxes worth of public services in full and that none, regardless of status, steals or wastes public resources. On this matter, I would like to let, I would like to let my actions speak for me. And I, I think I have spoken with some measure of clarity. And uh, I have not come here to threaten anybody. I have come here to speak to fellow workers. You know what I have said is true. It must stop somehow. It must stop. We, we have to do what we have to do. I know for sure that Kerry can do better. I know we have men and women in Kerry, men and women of integrity. I know they exist. I know they are there. And I know for sure that if there is a culture change in this organization, Kenya can be the better country that we all want to live in. And I am very confident that the hard-working people